Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Today's, well, this week's first and only reaction to the round, the Western Derby. I tipped West Coast Eagles because they always win this game. Actually, no, I tipped Frio. No, I tipped Frio, I tipped Frio, but West Coast always win this game, so I'm kind of worried. We'll see. I do like both teams, but I prefer Frio. Even though there's more Eagles players that I like, but yeah. <laughs> Here we go. He got requested four times, so I'm expecting something. That was a great goal. <laughs> it's an electric atmosphere, as you would expect from a, from a game like this. He took that really well. Uh, really well. I'm pretty sure, like, if the Eagles win, they're, they're pretty much clear, right? Like, the eight is sorted out if they win. So it's not just free of season in the balance, it's also the, the season of, like, five other teams. Or something like that, anyway. There we go. Good first quarter for Frio so far. Can they keep it up? This this would be their best chance at beating the Eagles in a while as well. Oh, go on. What a finish. What a finish. Those Prio fans are loud. Probably louder than I hear in my headphones anyway. <laughs> they're on fire. To be fair, they're not as far ahead as the highlights video makes it seem. <laughs> Like this first quarter is just Frio highlights, pretty much. There's another mark. And another goal. This is 50 points in one in the first quarter. That is <laughs> that is huge. Like I think if, if they go on to win the game, this that, that first quarter is key. Although the Eagles have three quarters of a game to come back. Not bad. <laughs> See, I would have been more shocked by that if I was watching live. But I felt like, why would that be in the highlights video if he wasn't going to get a goal? <laughs> What's happened there? The Western Derby gets violent again. Maybe not as bad as uh, a couple of years ago. I put myself in this position a lot this area, but um, yeah, I mean, this was this was the type of action that we got out of our game for a period of time, and this is what we don't want to see when a player is vulnerable in that position. And I'm surprised there weren't more people people getting involved. Guess they wanted to stay away from it. That's a good good play in general. Frio on it, you know. I don't remember the last West Coast highlight before this. <laughs> I genuinely don't remember. That's a good kick. Yeah. Yeah, see, look at that. If West Coast were winning, it's totally different. Totally. This was the last game of the round, right? I think, can't remember. Ugh. Got a sandwich there. I guess there must have been another game going on at the same time as this, though. I mean, it started before, but like... At this point, maybe. They're not getting it, though. They're not getting it. What I was going to say was... If they just survive the next 10 minutes without conceding again, maybe maybe they've won, but never mind. <laughs> That's a lot of time to not concede, though. 
What are you? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. This, this is, this is Frio. This is a Frio thing. Frio. <laughs> Losing in situations where they should win. That is a Frio thing. They're very frustrating. I like them and I want them to do well, but they're very frustrating. They're never consistent enough. Don't tell me they're not. They're going to fluff this. It's 11 points now. It was 30 points eight minutes ago. It was it was 30 points eight minutes ago. And now it could be 11. Look, I, I don't even hate the Eagles, but I'm, I just want Frio to be in the finals for once. But <laughs> this, this is a bit... To be fair, this is just me. I'm, I'm a Hawthorne fan. I'm just watching a team that I like. Imagine the Frio fans. That is a massive goal, though. That is a massive goal. Into the fourth. All right, it's not a uh, convincing lead, but it's still a lead. Uh, to be fair, it's a very good lead. I'm overreacting a little bit, but it is three goals. And if you look at how West Coast did at the end of the Melbourne game, they can do that in five minutes. <laughs> Less than that. This is going to go right to the end. I see why you requested it four times. <laughs> this is incredible, this game. We're still not at the, not at the end yet. Please, hold on, <laughs> they've got 12 minutes to hold on to a goal lead. Wow, <laughs> wow, this is honestly, I'm, I'm watching this in amazement. This is one of my favourite types of A4 games. Loud atmosphere, rivalry, fast-paced, end-to-end. I'm, I'm just sad it's over. <laughs> I'm just sad it's over. You know, when after the season ends, or when I just have time, i got to watch this full game. I need to watch this game in its full context, because that this is just incredible. And Freer actually win as well. When was the last time they won, they won this derby? When was the last time they won? Because they always seem to lose against West Coast. They've finally done it. I was thinking in my head, like, if, if there's ever a time that they'll beat West Coast, it's now. Because West Coast have been poor. And somehow still stayed in the eight all this time, but Frio managed to beat them. This opens it wide open now. I feel like the Giants have made it. I don't think it's confirmed yet, but I think they'll be fine. They've got Carlton last. Carlton have ended their season quite badly, so I think... The chance we have that game, um, but yeah, it's anyone's game apart from that. Let me just let, let me check the ladder. Let me check the ladder. More editing for me <laughs> to add the ladder in, but I'd, I gotta. I mean, I could just not put it in, but that would be a bit mean of me, wouldn't it? Um, Melbourne back to first, of course. Uh, right, I haven't checked the other scores, but I'm assuming Melbourne won. <laughs> I'm assuming they beat Adelaide. Um, Bulldogs, Geelong. Well, I mean, they're definitely all top four. I mean, uh, that's all, it's all confirmed now anyway. What am I, what am I talking about? <laughs> wait, this isn't all like... Is this... Wait, I'm looking at the wrong ladder. I'm looking at the ladder, it's just not updated yet. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the, la the ladder on Google was projecting one team playing 19 games. That was weird. Anyway, yeah. Um, Essendon on 40, West Coast on 40, Frio on 40. Okay, Richmond 36. We're we not going to make it. <laughs> they would need three teams to lose, <laughs> plus a percentage uh, boost, because they're Essendon's percentage. Uh, so that's not happening. Um, yeah, so one of three teams. One of three teams. Is there a way the Giants don't make it? I guess there is, but I don't think it's happening. Uh, let me just double check the matches, actually. That'd be a good idea. Who have Freo got? That's what I'm intrigued about. Who have Freo got? St Kilda. 
Well, the Saints are pretty much, I mean, they're out of the finals, of finals contention. But they can still be a very hard team to beat. Like, Geelong only beat them by, you know, was it a couple goals? A bit more than that. Um, it's at Marvel Stadium as well. It's going to be very interesting. Actually, to be fair, venues could change. But still, regardless of venue, very interesting game. Also, the sort of game Freer would lose. <laughs> but hopefully Freer can win and hope for the best. Essendon have got Collingwood. Well, Essendon should win that, realistically, based on how the season has gone. But it is a bit of a rivalry and Collingwood would have motivation as well to beat them. Not just because they want to beat them, but also they could cost them a finals place, so I think. And it's the last game of the season. I'm sure they want to go out with a bang, so. But I think Essendon should win that game. If they do, that eliminates Freo anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm, ho I'm kind of hoping not. Nothing against, nothing against Essendon. I mean, uh, sort of, but I, I just, I, I prefer Freo. I definitely prefer Freo. I want them to make it. I just want them to make it. Uh, preferably... I just have no Giants either. <laughs> you have Frio in and uh, Frio Essendon instead of the Giants. I, I don't know, it just feels more fresh to me, even though Don's always in there anyway, most years, um, recently anyway. Um, right, who have, uh, what do you call it, West Coast? Who have West Coast got? Who have you got? You can still make it. Lions at the Gabba. Lions at the Gabba for the Eagles. <laughs> the Lions, did, did you see what they did on Saturday? Flipping 142 to 57 against Collingwood, 85 point margin. This is the game that Collingwood always win as well. They always win at the Gabba. I remember, I remember watching every time they go to the Gabba and they win against the Lions. Not this time. They got smashed by 85 points. I'm just saying. I don't think the Eagles are ready. <laughs> I really don't think they are. Then again, the Lions have, I mean, they're not making the top four, are they? No, they're not. They could have, but they're not. Actually, they can. They need a few more goals, don't they? Percentage is not quite there. Who have the dogs got? Who have the dogs got? Poor Adelaide. Okay. Well, they did just, just lose to Hawthorne, so Port can beat them. Um, so I guess Brisbane might be looking to get top four. It At the moment, it's possible. Dogs have... Lost form a bit towards the end of the season. Lions seem to be getting a bit better, which is good. It's a good time to get a form boost. Um, so maybe they have enough motivation to uh, go and smash the Eagles. I don't know. We'll see. I just want to see Frio make it, so we'll see about that. Um, then again, if Carlton can do a favour and beat the Giants, then that opens up space for two of those three teams to make it. So... Uh, yeah, many things can happen. Many things can happen. Also, um, I only did one reaction this week, obviously. Not because, not by choice, I mean, technically by choice. But, like, um, I wanted to do more. I didn't do Friday because I was so eager to check the score for that Richmond GWS game that I just checked it before I went to work. And I saw that <laughs> I saw that Richmond uh, got smashed. So, uh, I just thought, yeah, and there was no request until I got home from work and I started doing other stuff anyway. On Saturday, I was going to do one, but I was knackered from work. Plus, I was doing something else, I was watching a movie. So, uh, yeah, just time went by. Before I knew it was like 4 a.m., 4 a.m. I was just like, oh, nah, no reaction then. I only got like two free requests anyway for like two different games. Collectively free requests. Um, but, yeah, um, I thought, yeah, I got to do one. I think next season, because I'm struggling to keep up with everything, so next season, I might have to change how I do my content. I think you might see a lot more live streams than uh, just regular reactions like this next season. I think that'd be much easier for me because I can just wake up, a, wake up a bit earlier, wake up like two hours earlier, watch a night game live, like Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Can't do Sunday because it's at like 7 a.m., but, you know... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 10.40 a.m., 10.50 a.m., 11.10 a.m. I mean, that's, anyone can get up at that time. So, uh, yeah, I just think it's just better for me because, like, I have less and less time after work nowadays. So, uh, I think the best way to go is to start doing live stream reactions. And all I got to do is grow up and wake up early. So, yeah, <laughs> I might start doing it next week, actually. 
I was meant to do it on Friday, but you know, I'm an idiot <laughs> who stays up till 5 a.m. watching YouTube videos. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Tips will be tomorrow. And goodbye.